In this episode, we will change the element attribute. We can get or set the elements attribute similar to the way we did earlier for input elements value property and titles text content property. Let's get over to the console and access some of the attributes of the elements. I will first access the input element by using document dot query selector choose input I will add them in a variable input input element has the type attribute so I can access it with dot type for example input dot type it shows text I can also change its type So let me assign it to a password. Now the input will get changed from text to the password type. We can also add new attribute to the element. Let's try to add the title attribute. So add input dot title equals add title now if you mouse over the input you will see a tooltip with a message add title in the elements tab if you take the input element you can also see the title attribute over here now how about I try to read the elements class name. So first, let's add the class in the input. Say input box. Now in the console, let's select the input. And if we type input.class, it shows undefined. It's because class is a reserved word which is used to create a special type of function called a class. So instead, we need to use class name property. So add input.className and it shows our class name input box. We can also update this class name by using input.className equals any new class name input updated for example now if you go to the elements you can see the class name is updated now when we click on this update button let's try to update the title as well as apply yellow color so first open style the CSS Add dot yellow and apply color yellow. Now in script.js, we already have add event listener for this opted button. So here we need to add title dot class name equals yellow. Take the preview, add some text in this input box, click update and this time the title is updated as well as the yellow color is applied too. Great! This is the end of this session. In the next session, we will set inline style with style property. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you and see you soon.